Hi everyone, I'm Shane Stevenson, Director of Museum Collections and Curator here at the Buffalo Naval Park. So hopefully you've enjoyed looking at the armaments on the USS The Sullivans, armaments on the USS Little Rock, and now we're going to be talking about the armaments on USS Croker. So behind my left shoulder here we have the scoreboard. All right, she sank 11 Japanese vessels during World War II. Most of, most of them are auxiliaries, and that's the traditional Japanese flag. But right here in the middle, you will see that they have what's called like a swallowtail flag. All right, and those represent sandpans, all right, or junks or fishing vessels that the Japanese used. All right, well, that's pretty unique, and sometimes we get questions of, well, how did they sink two junks? Did they spend a torpedo just to take out a fishing vessel? Well, in her original configuration as a Gato class, she would have had a 40 millimeter Bofor. She would have had the 20 millimeter Orlikens on the main deck, like the other Gato classes. All right, and so that's what she would use, and that's what she used to sink these two vessels. All right, she also had a three inch 50 on the deck of the USS Croker. All right, now she was converted in 1953 and all of those were removed and this new sleeker design conning tower uh, was put on her. So to try to clear up any of the confusion what we have here is an SSK configuration. All right, that's a hunter-killer configuration from 1953. The subsail, conning tower, was a guppy. But everything below deck was the hunter-killer conversion. All right, so sometimes when you talk to people and they're really passionate about the Gato and Baleo classes that were converted, um, you know, I think there were six Gatos and maybe seven Baleos that were converted into Guppy or uh, SSKs. The USS Croker is kind of a mashup, right? It is around Halloween, so a little Frankenstein. They have a Guppy uh, conning tower, but everything else underneath all of the configurations follow the traditional SSK hunter-killer configuration. So that means all the, the three-inch uh, 50 cal was taken off, uh, the Orlikins were taken off, and the 40 millimeter Bofor was also removed. And then therefore, for the rest of her service from 1953 uh, through 1971, when she was finally decommissioned, she would have her torpedoes as her main arm armaments. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go below deck and I'm gonna go to the forward torpedo room and the aft torpedo room and talk about what we've got down there. Follow me. Hey everyone, I'm standing in the forward torpedo room now of the USS Croker and what you'll see are the torpedo tubes in front of me. All right, so for those of you that are passionate about fleet boats and things, you'll notice that we only have four forward torpedo tubes. In her original Gato configuration, uh, she would have had six. And so what the, why did that change? Why did they remove the top two? All right, right on the top there. That was because they added the addition of the BQR-4 sonar array in her 53 conversion to Hunter Killer. Now what they did was they moved it from underneath the boat to the bow because they found that that reduced the background noise that the sonar would pick up from the boat itself. So they didn't want to be firing the torpedoes right into the sonar array, the BQR-4 sonar array, and so they removed the top two. So in addition to uh, the six torpedo tubes in her original configuration, they would have had 
16 total in this forward torpedo room, along with about 15 crew that lived and worked here. So when a boat goes out in service, say during World War II, it's called what's, it's a war patrol. Maybe you've seen the other videos on our channel about the Croker's first war patrol, and I do uh, the second war patrol with the loss of the USS Escalar. All right, so when they would leave for a war patrol, they'd have 24 uh, Mark 15, 21-inch torpedoes, 16 in the forward compartment, 8 in the aft torpedo room. All right, so this would have held 16. They would have had the six torpedo tubes instead of now four. All right, and then the rest would have been aligned, aligned around the perimeter and certainly below the decking. All right, so the, even though the aft torpedo room has the distinction of having uh, USS Croker's uh, first kill, uh, certainly she also sank a number of vessels from the forward torpedo room as well. All right, so we're going to take a walk to the aft uh, compartment, and we're going to talk a little bit about what's back there. All right, so now we are in the aft uh, torpedo room where she sank the, uh, the uh, Imperial Japanese Navy cruiser, the Nagara. And again, we love to tell the story that the Nagara was at the first night battle of Guadalcanal where the USS Juno was sunk, uh, killing the five, brother, the five Sullivan brothers and also two of the four Rogers brothers from Connecticut. So the Croker took revenge, probably unbeknownst, but the Nagara was a famous ship, first in her class, so there was a Nagara class uh, cruiser class. All right, and so her, the first uh, sinking was from uh, the aft torpedo room here. She shot four torpedoes from the, or I'm sorry, she shot six torpedoes from the forward torpedo room. They all missed. They rotated the boat. She had four ready to go, boom, 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 and one of them struck, and thankfully that was enough to take the Nagara down. All right, so as I was mentioning, there would be 24 torpedoes. There were 16 in the forward torpedo room. There would have been eight in here, four in the torpedo tubes. So this kept the original Gato class configuration, all right, with the four torpedo tubes back here. And then again, around the perimeter, there would have been uh, another four torpedo tubes along again with the 15 crew that would have lived here. All right, so a little bit about qualifying on a submarine too. Uh, you know, people who qualify, they get their dolphins and it's something to be very proud of. And you would need to know most, if not all of the systems on board with some degree of expertise. You'd have to be a full expert, but you'd have to be an expert where if someone gave you an order or a directive, you knew what to do. All right, so you had to qualify on each of the systems. And so let's say you're getting ready, uh, you're hanging out with your friends, you're an engine man, but you're hanging out with uh, some friends, playing cards, uh, just kicking back and relaxing, listening to some music, all right, in the aft torpedo room like here. Or right, you go to general quarters, everything needs to be buttoned up and you're going underwater within a minute. And you're hitting that 65 foot depth um, uh, so periscope level within about a minute and a minute and five seconds. That means you're probably, as an engine man, you're probably getting trapped here in the aft or the forward torpedo room because all of the interior hatches would absolutely need to be sealed up. So now you're here at general quarters, you're an engine man, but you're in a torpedo room. So you better be able to know enough about the torpedo system uh, to be able to be a productive member of the crew in this compartment. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video uh, showing the USS Croker, talking about the 3-inch 50, uh, the Bofors, and the Orlikins that would have been on the deck in her original configuration. All right, her 53 configuration with the guppy uh, subsail and conning tower 
which was what like the Greater Underwater Propulsion Program, all right? And then her SSK conversion, everything down below the main deck within the pressure hull uh, to convert to SSK. All right, one of the engines was removed. That was an SSK uh, configuration. So instead of having four diesel engines, she now has three. All right, and certainly putting the BQR4 sonar array at the bow, uh, removing two of the forward torpedo tubes. If you like this video, click subscribe, ring that bell, go visit our other uh, social media, and um, thank you for all your support. Hope you enjoy.